We went to the National, and it was a good time. But there's some things you definitely need to know if you're heading in this weekend. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I was in Cleveland for the National Card Show, and I have to say I am absolutely exhausted. It took us about an hour to park, about half an hour to get through the line with the wristbands. If you purchased a VIP ticket, you have nothing to worry about. You do not have to wait in any of those lines, but for general admission, it was a little bit of a wait to get in. If you are Ubering in, you will have to make a little bit of a walk, I have heard. But definitely a cool event. All of the major YouTube stars were present. Uh, sports card investor, as you can see, had a couple different areas, a bunch of different trade areas. This one was for any kids under the age of 16 but in the general eating area and pretty much all over the event, you would find people making deals, trading cards. It's what the hobby is about. Definitely a, a nice thing to see. And as you can see in the footage, this was taken pretty much right off the bat in the morning. So it wasn't too busy, but as the day progressed, it got almost overwhelming, I will say. The lines for the bathrooms wrapped around certain areas of the show floor. To eat, it took well over probably an hour or two even to get your food because the lines were just outrageous. I will give you some tips if you are heading to the show this weekend, but All right, here we go. I found my way to the wildcard booth and they had these Paul Skeen packs for $10 a piece. What's that number two? It's like 12 out of 25. Wow. You get one card. That card can be an autograph or a numbered card from, of course, one of ones all the way up to one out of 50s. Three of 35. Look at that one. Thanks, sir. My dad saw what I had opened in the first one, so he decided he wanted to rip a few. And then this happened. The one with the eagle on it. We're right there. One of five. One of one. Wow. <laughs> so my dad definitely pulled a nice card there. Definitely go to the uh, wild card booth if you have a chance. They will probably sell out again over the weekend. But I had to grab a top series two box on the way out. Unfortunately, I was unable to get any of the top silver packs or at least the baseball packs, because they had run out pretty quickly. Um, they do have a deal where if you buy any Series 1, Series 2, or the Bowman Hobby Boxes, you get one silver pack. If you buy a Jumbo Box, you get two silver packs. I think it also applies to Heritage, but it does not apply to Topps Chrome, which is unfortunate. So on the way out, I snagged this. Like I said, it was 20 bucks. I had to go home with something. But definitely, if you are heading to the show this weekend and you're looking to, you know, get any of the packs, if you did not purchase any of the VIP tickets, you want to make sure you get there early and go buy the boxes and redeem them early just because, like I said, they had run out early in the afternoon by the time I had went to uh, buy a Series 2 hobby box. So make sure you get there quick. Also, get to the wildcard booth or any of the other booths that have these national exclusive packs that you can purchase because it does seem like they are getting very low on inventory. Um, just kind of going through these packs here. Like I said, just wanted to rip something. Ripped a couple things at the show, but got a Zach gel off. City to City. And Pittsburgh Pirates, probably a rainbow. Yep. Definitely like the rainbows in Series 2. A lot better than the Series 1 rainbows. 
But if you're going to the show this weekend, what I can tell you is bring some water, bring a snack. Oh, got a hot dog card. Always fun to see those. But yeah, bring some snacks, bring something to eat. Unless you want to wait in line for the food that's there, which it does look delicious. They they had some food trucks, it looked like, come in and kind of open up shop. Had some different options, but there are just so many people that no matter what you choose, you're going to be waiting in line. Even the, the beer areas, um, all the little pop-up bars, I mean, everything is just packed with people, so... Bring your own beverages, bring your own food, you know, water, no beer, of course. Do not drink a lot of water going into the event, because if you have to use the restroom, you are going to also be waiting in line. And the only other thing I can say, make sure you know the value of your cards going into the show. And the reason why I say that is because the Wi-Fi and the connectivity through cellular... Ooh, got a Hank Aaron there, the 35th. Um, it's absolutely abysmal. Um, it does not work almost 90% of the time, at least for the two phones I had on me. I had a Verizon and a T-Mobile phone, and both were pretty much just non-usable. Most of the vendors and people who had tables there could not... Um, look up comps or any kind of information. Ooh, we have a G DJ LeMayhew Red Crackle out of 199 I'll definitely take that. So as I was passing by and talking to a lot of people, there weren't a lot of deals getting done at certain tables because, you know, if people weren't willing to move off of certain values, they had no way of looking it up in real time, so... Just make sure you kind of know what you want for your cards, know the value of your cards, and just be prepared to, to not be able to connect to anything while you're in there. I would definitely say go and check out the wildcard booth. They have these Paul Skeens one card packs for $10. You can pull an auto. I saw three of them get pulled right in front of me, so I know they're there. This is the card that you saw earlier in the video. But again, for 10 bucks, not a bad one pack little gamble to, to hit something big. And like I said, I saw three autos in front of me get pulled, so I know that, that they're in there. You can buy what they call a breaker's brick, which is 20 of these sealed packs for $160. Did not pull the trigger on it. I was pretty tempted to, but figured bring one home rip one on camera for all of you see if we can pull a one of one or an autograph either way great looking cards they're definitely not licensed but being a national exclusive we had to grab some looks like we have an out of 50 I have an american flag in the background i am not even mad about it I think they're great looking cards. For 10 bucks, you might as well take a shot. Take a look at both of them here. Again, pretty looking cards. You're not going to see a Pirates logo on them, but it is what it is. Happy my dad was able to pull a one of one. I know there's probably a handful of them that you were able to pull, but you should definitely check them out if you are at the National. Make sure to comment below. If you are going there this weekend, or if you've already gone, let me know what you thought about the show. And as always, good luck breaking.